everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect very quickly a standard MIDI controller to Camelot Pro. It's one of those questions which have been asked by subscribers and viewers, so here it is as a tutorial. I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe, please, if you haven't already done so, as it helps with bring you more tutorials, videos, etc, etc. So I just launched uh, um, Camelot Pro, as you can see here. Um, now let's click here where it says settings. I, I was on the song section here, but I'll go to settings here. Then select MIDI. And then depending on what device you actually have, in my case, for example, I have a Bluetooth uh, uh, MIDI controller from Akai. So I can choose Bluetooth MIDI, or if not, you can choose, for example, MIDI input, and it will appear here when you have connected to your iOS device. But in my case, I click on Bluetooth MIDI, and I, I previously connected the Akai, so it is offline now. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to set it to pair through Bluetooth, and I'm going to click on it to connect, and as you can see, it has now connected which is fantastic, and now if you click on MIDI input, it will show there Akai LP K25 wireless Bluetooth as a MIDI input. Perfect. Now let's go back to song. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's click from scratch, and let's uh, leave the title as new song, and let's click on proceed. Let's double click here on the new scene. Then let's go where it says layer, another new one from scratch, and let's click proceed. So we have a new layer now. Let's click on it. And as you can see now, it shows you already as a MIDI input, the Akai uh, wireless Bluetooth MIDI controller. If your controller doesn't show, just click here where it says show all devices, including disable. Again, you will be able to pick it up from there. Okay. When you've done that, click on done. And you can see here you have uh, um, the MIDI controller on your layer as a connector. Click on the plus sign, and now you can add an instrument. In my case, why not? For simplicity, let's add the software instrument. So let's choose uh, Bliss Alpha. Okay, and let's play on the controller. So as you can see, it was um, really straightforward to connect a MIDI controller. I hope you enjoyed these quick tutorials. See you in the next one. Bye.